why would I, it's like, why would that even be a big deal that we don't want to be, like, am I supposed to just fucking be friends with everyone? Because I don't. You know how many friends, I have, like, not very many friends on Facebook because I don't make I friends, like, I don't make friends with every fucking person that, that I've ever heard of. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know somebody does it. I'll, yeah, I do too. It's like, I will add someone if I know them, and honestly, there's a lot of people I need to get rid of, but it's, it's, you know, time to there's no easy way, there's no, like, list that you can just, oh, here, I'll just check off everyone I don't want. It's like, hey, do you want Oreos, or do you want, uh, uh, Frosted Mini Wheats? What kind? It's strawberry. It's cool, yeah. Uh, we'll eat off these Oreos, but, um, as we talk about shit, it's just, I don't even see why it would be a bit, like, you said, like, oh, yeah, well, it's equality, and it is, but at the same time, it's like, it's so petty, and why would they get mad at it, you know? Like, why would they get mad if someone is... But like, they do! I know, that's what I'm saying, it's so ridiculous, like, big fucking whoop, I don't want to be your goddamn friend on Facebook, and it's not a bit, like, I haven't had anyone be like, we are rational, but... Some are. Like, some people get mad. Like, it's like, why would I... I just don't see any logic. Why would I be your friend if I don't know who you are? Well, see, it shows the female entitlement mentality. And they feel... Like, honestly, why the fuck would you even send me a friend request if you don't know who I am? It's not like I'm some fucking Don Juan and all these chicks want my dick. It's not the case at all. So why would you even... Why? And I, don't, I think it's stupid. Like, oh, well, you have a like that I like. So we should be friends. No. Not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Think about every turn around. If you found out that she liked something that you like, and I was like, hey, you like this band, we should totally be friends. And then she'd be like, no. And then she'd be like, well, he's great. First of all, her first instinct would be like, wow, guys, thanks for me. But and then, then like, oh, look, let me go see his profile, see if he's hot. <laughs> no, I'm not. But the point is, the response she'll give, no matter how flattered she is, the response she'll give is, no, I'm not interested, man, man, you know, you're creeping me out, man. Mm-hmm. That's how she'll portray it. And it's for dignity. And that's exactly why I feel we should do the same thing. Because, it's all unfair. That's right, and that's all they fucking understand. Remember that date, the dream date, the equality date? That's exactly what should happen. <laughs> I mean, all we want to do or not be around these toxic women so that we don't have to be victim of their shit. Is that really so fucking wrong? Like it's a, not like we're fucking punching them or raping them or something. I, I also, I want to be able to have a fucking... I want to be able to express the pride I have of being a male without being attacked. Like, I should be able... Like, why is it fucking okay for... A woman would be, oh, I'm a woman. But if you ever try to, you know, just, like, to just cover your, you know, cover yourself, you know, like, well, I, I don't know, like, if you try to take pride in being a man, you can't. You're not allowed to. And why the fuck because should I all, That's what we were talking about earlier. Because everything that said they, that we're, when I was driving you home earlier, because every gain, and the man, woman, myth, or somebody else talks about this, every perceivable gain that a man achieves is is perceived to have been achieved at the expense of a woman. Yep. And it's like, I should be able to fucking talk about, you know, or I should be able to express an opinion or express some pride over, you know, without being attacked. It's like, it's like, um, it's not the same thing exactly, but it reminded me, uh, what it reminded me of that was that, um, girl writes what? I think it was in her DMCA update video. Where she, yeah, it was, because she's talking about how she's not ashamed of who, you know, what she's doing. Like, how the, the people that are trying to get her shit were going to call her boss or whatever. And it's like, you know, I talk about this at parties with people. You know, this is what I talk and about. And people know it, and they're yeah, they let me do I'm it. completely up front with it. It's not a secret YouTube thing. It's like, I talk about this shit everywhere. Oh, uh, like, you pretty much do, don't we? Yeah, and I know you do. I don't have a job right now, but I know you do at work. And you can. Like, you you can, but you're not... You know, Why are you talking? You shut up! Oh, they don't like it, but I fucking roar enough. They have to fucking put up with it because now they're walking on eggshells around me at work. Like, right. the, the owl. <laughs> not one really mentioned names, but the owl. No. The owl. Okay. 
She'll say something. She's like, no, that's not sexual. I didn't mean that in a sexual way. No, they're all being careful. Well, I didn't mean that as a threat. No, no. That's how it should be. And then the thing is, I'm totally nice to them. They're like, well, they're like, well, well, I'm sorry what I said. I didn't mean that. No, oh, no, I'm no. sorry. No, no, that's cool. I mean, you know, as long as nobody... And I say, as long as there's not a double standard, there's not a problem. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, I'll, I'll, for example, I'll say, you know, if we all came to work with squirt guns filled with, like, um, like, um, uh, soy sauce, Okay, and start squirting each other. And if that was the traditional norm and everybody was fine with it and everybody was interested in doing that, then what's the problem? Or let's say if everybody came to work and nobody wanted to um, listen to music while work, and, and if everybody was all fine with it and, there, and that was a common interest, that would be fine. What I'm saying is, as long as there's not a double standard, there is no problem. Okay, for example, sexual harassment. If it's a commonplace thing that everybody, 100% of the people in the workplace enjoy in a particular business or workplace, let's say they all enjoy grabbing each other's ass. <laughs> okay. And, and then let's say they all have interest in it. Everybody thinks it's cool. Everybody does it. Everybody loves having it done to them. There's no problem with that. But now at the same time, if women don't like having their ass grabbed, and don't like men coming on to them, then women shouldn't do it either to men. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, I, well, is this some fucking radical idea? No, it's like, let's not be fucking dipshits. <laughs> yeah, it's not a very hard concept. Well, here's are them because they're fucking dipshits. I mean, they're normal people. What yeah. do you expect? I mean, like, they've been fucking bombarded and they gave in and let all this programming affect them. You know, me, me, me. Yeah, you, you should watch that video now. Let's go past me. me. Yeah, let's go past me. You can see women that, uh, 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 picture of women firsthand. Alright, dude. Who's this video by? It's not, well, it's not a video, it's an episode of a TV show. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's um, a pretty good show. Well, I don't know if I want to show it on camera because it's a copyright thing. I mean, I'm watching, but to, to turn off the camera. Mm -hmm. Well, just a minute, dude. Anyway, watch your pet speaks. Yeah, um, Okay, this riddle, and I want to see, now don't spoil it, I want to see if people can solve this riddle. Okay, now this kind of reminds me of like, remember in Fight Club where like, they're all doing the Fight Club, they're all enjoying the fights and all that, and then Tyler injects philosophy into it, and, and then they all, like, and he takes it in a direction, see, see, see his, he tries to see who is receptive. Beakley and Mythos. Alright. I want to see if anybody can solve this riddle that... <clears throat> Didn't you already explain on Facebook? Yeah, but not on a camera. I know that, but if they're going to... If they could just go back and look at the message to no, solve everybody it. can. <laughs> Only certain people. Well, yeah, no shit. Alright, so anyway, dude. This is for the YouTube audience. Alright. Why does the beak fly across the sky, leaving a glittering trail of diamonds in his wake as he flies across the sky? Do you know the answer to that? I was actually you thinking earlier about making. We, I wish we could like we could probably do it, but it'd be kind of hard. We need like some video editing skills, but uh, I got wanted, some. Wanted to take like get beak child and make it like basically just film it. It'd be like a five second clip, but film him flying across the sky and the, the, tr the diamonds like. As they're behind, they're behind him until he like gets to a certain distance, and they start to like trickle down, you know. I know what you're talking about. And then, and then have like a guy in a field, like a farmer, and he's sweating, and he just looks up, and he like swipes the sweat off his brow, and just has like this look on his face, like because he knows what it means. Yeah, and like uh, he looks up like this, wipes the sweat off his brow, and then he kind of just looks down, like he's and, like, like he's worn out, and it hurts, you know, like it's like in solemn, yeah. um, what solidarity or like um. You know, but he's got this solemn look on his face. But I don't, I don't want to say much to spoil it. And then he just kind of looks down and just like internalizes. You know, he feels like he feels a certain way, and he knows that it, it it's not going to change. And that's why he's so he's so stoic and just mm -hmm. accepting. Like he he knows that 
he'll never be able in his lifetime he'll never be free of that. And it's like a it's like an eternal burden on our shoulders. I, you know what this riddle means, uh, right? Yeah. Um, okay. That's why I want to film it because like, we like we should. Talk, I was thinking we could make it like have him kind of wearing like a like a more like an old old type like not using a fucking tractor like he's actually out there like a horse pulling like, plow maybe something like that. It's a little extreme, but more like have him out there with a hoe or something like where he's actually he's doing physical labor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got like kind of like uh. Like maybe some not not like jean overalls, but the old type of um, you know farm clothing they'd wear yeah, yeah. back in like maybe the fifties through the sixties. That'd be like bib overalls, wouldn't it? Oh no, I didn't mean that. fuck. More like twenties through fifties, somewhere in there. He's got that kind of old style of clothing and stuff. Okay. And he's in the field, and it's like really bare, and there's not much to like it. Like a monkey bear. Yeah, like a monkey bear. No, there's not much to it. Like, there's not much stuff growing. Kind of like during the Dust Bowl? Yeah, something like that. Like, the... Yeah, that's good. Because that was the 1930s. That would be a good one. Yeah, and then... And, but, and he sees... He sees Beak Child go across the sky. <laughs> and he sees the diamonds. And Beak Child kind of looks at... Them, like, like he's doing it for the farmer, almost. Like, he kind of display. He makes eye contact with him. Mm -hmm. From up in the sky. As if, like, he's telling... He's like... He's sharing this with, he's like, this is for you, you know? This is your wisdom lesson. Yeah, and, and <laughs> he floats across the sky, and the farmer, he just kind of, he looks up, wipes the sun off his brow, and he's just like, he kind of look, like looks down in shame. Not shame, but solemn, uh, uh, a solemn acceptance, like he knows. Yep, yep. He just, he just fucking and, okay, now that you, you've described the but sky. But have the beak fade off. In the dis like not well, I not thought about him go through the sky, kind of like how Santa Claus would in his sleigh. Well, I think so, sort of, but I don't want him to just keep going until he disappeared. But it's kind of like he goes and then he just kind of just fades out because you know he's not ever in one place at one time. Yeah, he's got other things to do. You know what? You know what I've been thinking about? Hmm. Okay, you described what the farmer would be wearing. And what the farmer is doing, but what does the farmer look like? I was about to say that. Uh, what we need to find someone who it needs. They need to be like uh, kind of tall and gaunt and gangly almost. <laughs> like they need to. I think they need to. I just. I like the whole the dust bowl look. You know, like it needs to be someone who looks like they, you know, are used to the hard scrabble, the hard life. You know. And like, uh, uh, you know, he goes out in this fucking field every day and does this shit. And what does he get? And but it should be I don't know someone on. And it should show off the sto. It should I'll show like the stoicism, right? I feel like we could uh we, we should, Mark would be a good fucking farmer if he didn't have long hair. I think Mark feels it. I, I, I'm thinking someone that looks kind of like James Cromwell, but not as old. <laughs> That's why I think what the farmer should look like. You know what I was thinking of? <laughs> A black sharecropper. That'd be another good one. But why would he be in the field if if it's a sharecropper? It's not even his fucking land, or which it is. It is good for the, you know because it makes it kind of ties in the same. But I want it to kind of be the lone farmer. He's supporting his like fucking family, you know, that he has, mm -hmm. and he has like his one plot of land that's not very big and he's not making any pro to show how miserable, you know? I would actually like to show several men viewing Beak Child. Well, we can do different ways. Well, it'd, it'd be, be like, like, like more like a longer video with different... Like, well, it's kind of a car commercial. Yeah. Like, yeah. like how they show all these different people looking at this car yeah. driving on the street. Beak Child would be like the car. And then, but see, you know what one of the guys, one of the men who I would like to have in the video, basically... And with why, that, why not have like a whole group of uh, like sharecroppers? Well, I wanted to show this scene where at least one, and then maybe some look on. Like, there's the one that sees him first. Yeah, like he looks up and then maybe gets the other's attention. Well, then yeah, he's like, you know, it's like I almost, I'm, I almost feel like it should be silent too. Like, no, oh yeah, there should be sound effects, but no, no one says no dialogue, that. no dialogue, and complete facial expression and body language. And, and you know what? But have like the have like the sound effects like you can hear the the wind uh, across and the like, lake. <laughs> and you can hear, you, you can no, hear no. beacon across the sky. You can hear the diamonds like tr like 
like we'll put like a you know shining sound like the like a shimmering yeah like they shimmer down 